Hey you, Charlotte from the Mac Observer here. I thought I'd give you a quick guide through how to use private browsing. Lots of people know how to do it in Safari on the Mac, but here's how you can do it on an iPhone or an iPad. Uh, just so you know, I'm using an iPad for this video just because it gives you a bigger screenshot and whatever. If you want to have Safari not remember the tabs you've gone on, on the websites you've gone on, or remember your history whilst you're browsing, you need to turn on private browsing mode. So to do that on, as I say, an iPad or iPhone, I'm using an iPad just to make the screenshots a bit clearer. Uh, tap this button right in the top right hand corner, which opens all the tabs. And then you can see right at the top, it says private. Simple. You're now in private browsing mode. Tap done and back you go. You can see now that the, the bar where you put in a website name or enter a search term uh, has, has turned dark and so ha and there's a little note telling you you're now in private browsing mode. Tap in a, a website. Again, let's go to the macobserver.com. You've not deleted your history, so it remembers those things. There you go. And you're now browsing in private browsing mode. Add another tab. You can see from the bar at the top that you're still in private browsing mode. Again, pick another website and away you go. If you want to exit private browsing mode, again, tap the tab button at the top and tap private so that it is no longer highlighted. Uh, you'll get a new window, a new browser window. If you uh, put the name of a website you want to go to in, in the bar at the top, you'll notice it's no longer darkened and that's how you know you're out of private browsing mode. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you found this useful. Do please check out other videos and subscribe to the channel. And of course, check us out every day at themacobserver.com. Thanks so much.